Oh my my. What the? This is hollow hollow. There's no ices. Mm, so good. Good day law of physics, yeah. <laughs> We just got out of um, Halo Halo de Loco and look at this guys, there's already a lot of people waiting. <laughs> Some people like to work out to look good and stuff like that, but for me, guys, I only work out for the food. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is like a highly recommended place. Forevermore 2022. So you recommended Halo Halo de Loco and also Taco Tito's and Sangyup Salamat. So I think we've been to the Sangyup Salamat. I think that's the one in Robinson's. We've tried that one before, right? Yeah. That's the all you can eat, like Korean barbecue. Um, and then we're gonna try the taco titos next time, but today we are doing the halo halo de loco. Okay, so um, the order form here. So they not only have halo halo, these are the specialties. I don't know if you guys can see. Buko halo halo is 195 pesos. And then the fiesta. So they all range between 100 to 195, but most of them are within the 100 to 120 pesos per. And then you got the add-ons, appetizer, one set, sizzling plates, seafood, like soups, in balukan soup, Pinoy food, vegetables, and then you, of course you got a bunch of drinks here. We got some food, yeah! Hey guys, our order came in, look at this. This is the Fiesta Halo Halo. It's a famous. Yeah, but they don't have the buko Halo Halo. I guess hindi pa na mua yung buko. Wait, do you want to mix this? Guy likes mixing mine. So, mix it. Are you done mixing it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So apparently this is a bestseller. <laughs> One of the bestsellers. But it would have been better in a buko. In a buko, yeah. But it's fine. Oh, happy! Mm. Happy! Yeah. This guy's squeezing the kalaman said you need help. Ooh! Yeah, earlier it was just us. Now it's busy here. Look at this one side, it has a lot of... Um, oh, thank you. But what was that? That was your rice. Your rice. But this time it has a handle. This one side has a lot of toppings. I've never seen a pancet like with corn and stuff like that at the top. And some pork, fried pork and stuff. Yeah. Pork skin, I think. This is like liver. Or heart. I've seen people do that. Like, Chicken heart? Yeah. So it's more like authentic here. When we first came here, we were the only ones here. And then it's almost like 12. What is it? It's 11.46 and it's packed. It's like every table is taken. Look at that. You know what? What's this made out of? Um, I've actually never had okoi before. What is it called? Okoi okoi? So this is called okoi, guys. Um, I think it's sweet potato with batter. And I could be wrong, but um, look, this is so, it looks spicy. So this is the fried halo halo. I've never had a fried halo halo before. <laughs> it tastes good. Tastes good? <laughs> what is this? Ice cream? Ice cream on top? Oh my my. Never had ever. The leaning tower of pizza. What the? It's brown. It's purple. I think the ube thing overpowered everything else. Is there ice inside there? It's supposed to be hollow hollow. This ice inside? They call me too! <laughs> How is it? It's um, I think I have to eat it with the ice cream. Let's try with the ice cream. 
You know what this reminds me of? You know that place we went to with like the um, ice cream, was it cream cheese inside like a fried thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, Tastes like that. Can, can one of the, uh, like Applebee's? Joe's something Joe's. Crabby Joe's. So I kind of, I haven't had the ones inside. Let me just grab some stuff inside. <laughs> Look, there's like um, sticky rice inside. Mm. This is hollow hollow. It says deep fried hollow hollow. I feel like it's more um, sticky rice mixed up with um, some toppings and ice cream on top. Yeah. They replace the ice with the sticky rice. Mm. Very good. You should try it. Yeah. Are so good. Okay guys, we're gonna try the okoe. Yeah. I always see this, but for some reason I just never try it. I'm just gonna try it with a little bit of vinegar. That sauce is a little bit hot for me. Mix chili, the green and the red, and then they have cucumber on it. But it's so good. A little bit of a kick is fine. It stepped it up a notch. Mm. Okay, you should try this. I can eat this all day as a snack. It's good, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, because a lot of people want to eat here, but they can't because there's not enough tables. And everybody likes this place. The location, it's, it's a little bit difficult to look for parking because it's in like a narrower street. It's not in like along the main highway. But once you get a spot and you get in here, you come in here way before lunchtime, like 10, 10.30 to 11, so you get a spot for sure. Because around this time, you, don't have a, you won't have a spot anymore. I think there is shrimp. Yeah. Look, this one has like malunga embedded in it. Look. And I'm not complaining. I like malunga. Marungai. I feel like my voice is a little bit lower compared to in Kabalen because then I don't want everyone to hear me. So hopefully you guys can hear me. We need a straw now. Yeah, if you're gonna get the halo halo, get it after, after your meals, so it doesn't turn into like this. You asked me if I want more of that. Oh no, 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 it's so good. How would you rate the um, fried halo halo? Yeah. So I'll rate the uh, deep fried halo halo about ten out of ten. Is it so good? Melts in your mouth. The only thing I don't get is why it's called deep fried halo halo. Where's the ice? There's no ice inside. Mm. Oh, good. Good day, law of physics, yeah. <laughs> okay, how would you rate this place? 10 out of 10. Yeah. Why? You love everything? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good for this show. Mm -hmm. I do recommend this place. <laughs> do you highly recommend this place? So, the other thing that I noticed here is like, the food doesn't seem like it's commercialized, you know how like in some places um, you can tell like just from like the plating and the toppings here it's like the pancet itself is jam-packed with toppings. So just from this itself you know you're gonna get a good deal. This is a nice touch guys. We forgot to show you guys the receipt, but it actually cost us 1,180, which you convert that is how much? Like 20 bucks or 30 bucks? 25. Yeah, there was a lot of fun set and food's really good. So we got some change. Every time we go to these like um, private owned businesses, we always make sure to not forget to give tip because you know we want to support these uh, small businesses and. Also, they work so hard and, and the food is really good. So, you gotta show your appreciation. Appreciation. In Canada, um, tip is usually, I think, 12 to 15%.
get out of um, Halo Halo de Loco. And look at this, guys. There's already a lot of people waiting for a table to free up. Yeah, wow. You guys are not lying. That place is amazing. Um, it's not a huge place, so keep that in mind. When you come here, make sure you come early. A must visit if ever you guys are in La Union. This is in San Fernando City. It's just off of the diversion road. You guys eating her. What are, what are you eating, Sky? It's a crunchy one. Yeah, that's a crunchy string bean. So this one is mixed fruit and vegetable chips. Sky loves this. What's your favorite out of all this? This. These string this. beans and the carrot. Oh, nice. I love that too. Wow, I look like a man. I look like a man in this outfit. This guy's there with her cousins on the playground some people like to work out to look good and stuff like that but for me guys I only work out for the food it's a good thing we have this gym when we go out of the house we see the gym right away so it's like a stark reminder that we need to work it here in the gym, we only have solar a solar fan here, which died. Why did that die? Oh no, it's just really slow. We have a solar fan and solar lights. All the warm air during the day gets like stuck here. So I, we try to work out early, early in the morning or late in the afternoon so it's not too, too hot. I just did some quick cardio with the fan bike and I felt like all the water seeped out of my body. Not, not all the water, but I'm like sweating. I'm sweating like a horse. We are gonna continue with the workout. I'm gonna take it easy today because um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna pass out. So I'm gonna check out now and see you guys later. We're gonna check out at the, check out now? Check out shopping, check, okay. See you next time, bye guys. The workout that I was doing was supposed to be 30 minutes of hit with the warm up and cool down and everything. Yeah, I only made it up to 20 minutes because first there was a warm up and then I thought that was the workout. So I gave it my all and then it's like, we're about to start at the 10 minute mark and I'm like, oh crap. Yeah, na yung halo halo, lumalabas na siya. So, here in the Philippines, as you guys know, food tastes so good. And the way I deal with it is, I try to burn it off whenever I can because it's called life eating balance. Um, some people work out to, you know, like have muscles and like abs. I don't care about abs, girl. 